YouTube, you see that right now? This red screen, that's what really pisses me off. Every damn time. Every damn time, man, I try to tell you I gotta fix it every single time. My computer shut off, power went off about five times today, earlier with big ass thunderstorm, trees falling off all over my front lawn. Thank God it was nothing serious. But on the real, man, what you guys saw the red screen, I had to quit Skype. I don't know why. I just don't know why. That's how, what's it called? What do I have? What do I have? I have an Aver Media. I don't know why. That's the way it works. Uh, Aver Media and OBS. I had to quit Skype. And sometimes I have to close my browsers for it to load again. If not, it's going to be a red screen the whole time. Just imagine how much research and how long it took me to figure that out. And then when I edit my webcam, I have to resize it. It's full screen. I just, I just, never mind. So today's video, I'll be talking about all these insane roster changes that just happened today. And it's crazy, right? The last day of League, uh, rosters locked at like 5 o'clock today. And all these changes happen. I don't know. And probably some of it happened last night, you know, behind the scenes. But it all happened so fast, right? All these roster changes. If you guys don't know, TCM made a move, Rise made a move, and TK made a move. And the one that I was most, most, most surprised about was definitely TK. Some of you may ask, why? Why are you surprised with TK? Well, first of all, they picked up Neslo and who, who was it? Neslo Theory, two OTK members, where Sharp repeatedly talked on his videos or when he did pick up Halley saying you know they didn't want to pick up any TK old players they wanted to play with some new players or something like that Neza also in this video talked about you know how he was gonna make any team changes or how his team was sticking together and you know how you gotta practice you gotta work hard you gotta fix your mistakes and staying together is really important and all these things like preaching you know and he himself no he was kind of a hypocrite and just like with those two people saying all those things, it was pretty mind blown. You know, the funny part is I, I did get offered a TK when I was on Prof. And after we didn't make it to the league, I was thinking about joining TK. I talked to them about it. But, you know, they pretty much said, you know what, we're keeping Halley. And it's it, that's pretty much what's going to go down. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go find myself another team. Good luck to you guys. And <laughs> the fact that they changed the last second, pretty crazy, right? I mean, they didn't even pick me up. <laughs> Alright, that was a bad fake cry, but either way, good luck to them. Definitely gonna be a sick squad. Nezzo and Theory have been proving themselves in this game. I know they they haven't been placing the best, but they've definitely been placing, I believe, at least top eight every event, which is decent. You know, it's not bad. So I think they're gonna do work. I don't know how they're gonna play with that type of combination, but I know they'll be fine. To me, they'll have the chemistry, they'll have the teamwork. They have what's necessary to win. It just comes it's really gonna come down to players performing. If so if if Nameless is going off and Sharp's are What are you doing, buddy? If everyone's doing their thing and going off, then they have a high chance of playing really well, placing really well, playing really good. But overall, I think they're going to be a, a really good, consistent team. For the most part, for the most part. Also, if you guys saw, TCM also picked up Aches and TP. The duo, the team that's won 18, I believe it's 18 championships together. And it's insane, you know, they, they announced their duo. They didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't know if they are going to have a team. And I think TCM decided in their best interest to, uh, you know, go ahead and pick these two legends up. And in replace, they, I think, they believe they benched Shane. I, I don't know if you want to consider the bench, but he's pr pretty much kind of benched. He's a substitute for TCM, and he's going to be an Allen analyst. I don't know if he's... What, what the plan is with him himself. Yeah, so TCM, Aix, and TP. That was a pretty crazy pickup. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, think about it. Aix and TP on TCM. And, I mean, good luck to them. I know they're gonna be a good squad. Shout out to Jerd. Jerd's a beast. If if there was one player I definitely would want to play with on TCM or any European player, European team, is Jerd. Jerd's a beast. He's proved himself many times, many times. And every time I've played him, you know, I might have won for the most part, but this guy always shows up. He always, like, ins does insanely good against me and my team. Also, another trade happened today. For the people who don't know, right before roster lock, you know, all these trades went down. Rise picked up. I mean, pick up. Okay, they picked up. Okay, guys. They picked up Hallie and Goon. You know, they basically picked up the two players that TK dropped. And I guess they kind of, TK and Rise talked a little bit about it before making all these decisions. Because knowing TK, I know they wouldn't completely douchebag them, you know, completely go like, well, you guys are dropped, good luck. I'm pretty sure, you know, beforehand, uh, TK talked about, you know, we, we want to pick up these two guys. And, you know, you guys can go ahead and join Rise and do this. So, I guess everything was settled. And they want to go ahead and pick up Pally and Goon, which I think is honestly going to be a good fit for them as well. From all three teams, all three, I think TCM is definitely the strongest from all the trades. Probably, probably is the strongest. You know, if you look at all three, 
<laughs> um, TK is gonna be. I'll go TK as a second. TK is gonna be, I think, a really good squad, depending on like how I say, like if they perform really well. I think online, <laughs> they're definitely gonna be really good. And but TCM has to be my my number one winner here. I think they did the best trade. I think they're gonna be a really dominant squad. And also, I also think that Aix has been playing really well for the most part. You know, he wants to win. Uh, you know, he plays pretty good both for the most part compared to maybe the past couple events. He didn't play too well, but he's starting to pick it up. And I know he wants to win more again. And you know, with TP being in, in that fill in as a duo, I think I think it's gonna work out really well. You know, they have a lot of chemistry together. They can make a lot of plays together, and they're both gonna feel really comfortable on the team and play together. So it should help with their overall place down and performance. We're really, really looking forward to playing the league. We play tomorrow. We're gonna have some matches. I believe we'll play like one match, two matches a week. So we're gonna be playing one match tomorrow. And it should be fun. You know, it's gonna be really fun. So I hope to see you guys then, whether it's on my stream or on my YouTube channel or whatever the case may be. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy and I'm currently going out.